They say three's a crowd, but four completes the Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott clan, as the celebrity pair welcomed a new baby boy into the world. But with a new son comes new challenges, and undoubtedly a new parenting style for Kylie. Let us count the way things could change. Being a mom has become second nature to me. It's a boy, but shh. Baby boy Wolf Webster was born on February 2, 2022. Just one day after his sister Stormy's fourth birthday, can you say major Aquarius energy? And Kylie is already doing things differently. The unconventional couple waited to tell the world about Stormy until the literal day of her birth, shocking fans everywhere. Kylie told People magazine that she and Travis kept the pregnancy secret in order to prepare for this role of a lifetime in the most positive, stress-free, and healthy way I knew how. But when Stormy came along, it was off to the races and Kylie's social media was awash with stormy news and photos. This time feels a little different though, but no less a surprise. Kylie and Travis announced their second pregnancy on social media with plenty of time, about six months to be exact. Kylie and Travis publicly took a break from their relationship in 2019, but remained best friends and co-parents. In 2021, they announced they were back together and that they were pregnant with baby number two shortly thereafter, much to the joy of their friends and fans. But unlike last time, still no pics, except for one. More social, less media. With only one secretive photo shared, it's safe to say that Kylie is trying to keep baby boy Wolf Webster out of the light. For now. It's been a bit of a Kardashian-Jenner tradition that boys tend to shy from the limelight more than the girls, as is the case with Saint, Mason, and even Kylie's half-brother Rob. The internet is filled with photos and videos of Kardashian-Jenner girls, while their male counterparts are always in much shorter supply. Perhaps this is a natural tendency born to the boys in the family. However, we have to wonder if it's helped along by their mothers. By the time baby number two comes around, the Kardashians get a bit more private or at least they try to anyway. Take, for example, the case of St. Kardashian West. Kylie's big sis Kim decided to pull back from social media after his birth in order to give him a more normal life. Kim told E! Online, I was not posting about my son because I wanted him to be able to go to the park every single day like a normal human being, and nobody knows who he is. People thought he didn't exist. People thought I had a whole fake baby and I made this whole thing up because I wasn't posting about it. And to me, that's so ridiculous. Despite Kim's best efforts, however, Saint has still found a way to steal some attention, whether that's through posing for cute photos, denying his mother a kiss, or side-eyeing his siblings to hilarious effect. Hmm, something tells me there's a little more of Kanye in this one. Could it be that Kylie and Travis are simply taking a page out of Kim's playbook? Stormy storms into kindergarten. Kylie is famously protective of little Stormy, going as far as to have her attend pre-K from home. That's right, little Stormy is homeschooled, though we imagine it's gotta be the best homeschool ever with the best uniforms. They say parents often get less protective by baby number two, and we wonder if the same is true for Kylie. After all, Kylie herself went to traditional private school until 10th grade and says she loved it, so much so that when she left to be homeschooled herself, she was pretty sad to miss traditional milestones like prom. With two little ones now running around home and office, and her own experiences behind her, might she reconsider putting Stormy into kindergarten? Only time will tell. Nanny Reinforcement Of course, Kylie will not be and was never alone in raising her children. She always had her enormous family to help alongside an army of hired help. Sources say Kylie keeps up to four nannies for little Stormy alone and likely pays up to $180,000 in salaries. That's not to say that Kylie is out of the picture. On the contrary, she's pretty hands-on as a mom and has gone as far as to have a nursery specially built for Stormy in her office. Nonetheless, we can imagine that the nanny brigade is growing with the arrival of baby boy Wolf and with it, the reinforcement of some very strict staff rules. Nannies are to wear no jewelry, they are not to appear on camera, they cannot be attractive, and most importantly, they must prioritize their employer's family above anything else. Travis stepping it up. A baby boy changes things for all parents, 
And for fathers, it presents a unique responsibility, having to model manhood, and Travis is no exception. Let's be clear that while the love between Kylie and Travis is undeniable, we have to be honest, Travis can sometimes be a little out to lunch. While playing 23 Questions, for example, Travis had a hard time naming all of Kylie's dogs. Meowch. You don't know them? <laughs> Rosie and Harley. Oh, Rosie, Harley, yeah. The good thing is, though, he did work in tandem with Kylie to choose their son's name. Scott's devotion as a father to Stormy is unwavering, however. He always wants what's best for her and prepares her to conquer the world on her own terms. After sitting down with Chase B on Wave Radio, Scott talked about how he and Kylie were raising Stormy to be a strong black woman. I feel like it's way more important now to protect young black daughters, women, and make sure they have the knowledge of how to carry themselves, how to move in this world, how to be strong, how to not even be scared to take that risk on any idea, jump out on any activity, he shared. Now more than ever, they have the vision. We can only imagine that Travis will also teach his son to be a strong black man in this world, something that Kylie will obviously need to take a supportive backseat on. And we can only hope that he also teaches his son to respect women as he would his mom Kylie, sister Stormy, and all of his aunties and grandma Chris. Hey, little wolf, we think you're gonna be A-OK. -okay. More nose. Of course, growing up in a huge family, Kylie has plenty of models of parenting to pull from. And it's no secret that the sisters share tips of the trade with each other, and sometimes critiques. Kendall famously pointed out that out of all of her sisters, Courtney and Kylie were ranked the worst. Youch! But quickly followed up the statement and said that they were all amazing parents. Courtney is said to possess a more lax style, disciplining her kids less. Kylie, though not a punisher, is said to be a bit stricter, especially where household rules are concerned. Kylie doesn't allow little Stormy, for example, to watch TV. That includes phones. Except for the occasional mother-daughter selfie, screen time is kept to a minimum. We can imagine that this might result in Kylie enforcing the same rules with her son, and maybe even getting stricter, as to not allow any bad habits to grow and be reinforced by the siblings. More yes. And then, of course, on the other hand, Stormy Webster may just be the most lavish four-year-old in all of Hollywood, and we don't see that changing anytime soon, and certainly not for her brother. The four-year-old regularly receives expensive gifts and wears fashion pieces worth six-digit price tags. Kylie reportedly bought her a $200,000 pony named Frozen, for no other reason than just because she felt like spoiling her daughter. Double that amount, and you have what a spontaneous gift-giving looks like for two little ones in the Jenner Scott household. And saying no is not something that comes easy to any of the sisters. As Kim famously said, when my kids want something, typically candy, they give me this look directly in my eyes that cuts right through me. I usually give in and give them what they want. Lucky you, Webster old boy, lucky you. Snails and Puppy Dog Tales At just four years old, Stormy is already a fashion icon like Mama. Thanks to the influence of her parents, little Stormy is always impeccably dressed and donning the world's top designers like Hermes, and even going as far as to wearing matching outfits with Mom. The real question, though, is, will baby boy Wolf Webster be just as much a fashionista as his sister, or will he find interests of his own, like his cousin Saint? While Saint takes after his mom Kim in many ways, one thing that's all his own is his love of basketball. On January 20th, Kanye posted a photo of little Saint hanging off a rim after just scoring a slam dunk. Fans commented with praise for the young Kardashian West, and one went as far as to say, yeah, I don't remember seeing LeBron James dunking at this age. You got a special one here. One thing's for sure, though, we can probably expect to see him toddling around in Astro World gear. And who knows? Maybe he'll inherit Travis's musical talent, too, and start breaking out the beats from time to time. Joint Sibling Parties Shared parents, shared house, shared birthday parties. Baby boy Webster was born just one day after Stormy, and it was hardly a surprise as Kylie posted some very pregnant pictures dressed all in pink the day of the party. Our girl celebrated her fourth birthday with cousin Chicago, and it seems like joint birthday parties will simply become a family tradition. The two celebrated in style. Barbie and LOL doll-themed style, that is. Party guests walked into Scott and Jenner's backyard to find an impressive array of pink and multicolored balloons. 
a buffet table full of delicious treats and face painting. So what does this mean for the Websters in the future? Well, probably the same thing. Big old bashes toasting the two of them together. Though it's probably safe to say that Barbie or LOL dolls won't be the theme. Six feet apart? More like six miles. When Stormy was born in 2018, Kylie was known to be an especially cautious mom, setting COVID trends long before COVID. For starters, Kylie wouldn't allow just anyone to enter the home to see the newborn, but those that did get to see the baby could only see her while wearing masks, because as one source disclosed to Hollywood Life, she didn't want her exposed to any germs. She's still so brand new. And this was in 2018, two years before the country went into lockdown and coronavirus changed the world. Stormy's room was also stocked with eco-friendly products. We have a good idea of what Kylie will be like now in a post-COVID world. Not only will she be more selective about who she lets inside, but at what distance? Masks? How about a full hazmat suit? How do you think Kylie's parenting style will change? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to hit like and subscribe to The Thing Celebrity for more content and news.